Then everyone cooks for themselves. I don't know. I actually added this comment myself because it came up on a recent coaching call. My first piece of advice is to think flexibly about what constitutes a meal. I can really relate to this question because in our family, we have someone who eats everything, someone who eats mostly plant-based, someone who's a straight up carnivore, and someone who enjoys vegetables, dabbles in meat, kind of just depends on the way the wind is blowing that day. And it's been that way pretty much since the beginning, like over a decade now. Thinking outside the traditional box of a meal equating to one protein, one vegetable, and so on, has really helped our family to flex things so that everyone's pretty happy and everyone gets enough to eat. Now, if this worries you because visions of short order cooks and astronomical grocery bills are running through your mind right now, I'm not suggesting that everyone gets their own completely separate made to order meal every time. Instead, it's about loosening your plan for the meal. So maybe instead of chicken tinga tacos with a side salad and a special rice dish, call it taco bar and you have a couple of different protein options and all the fixings for the salad are out and people can kind of mix and match in combinations that suit them. This is not rocket science, I realize, but it can be really helpful for families in this situation. Our beliefs and norms around cooking and meal times and what that all looks like are so deeply ingrained in us. And often during times of stress, for example, when you're stepping into a stepmom role, we tend to revert to some of our most rigid, deeply ingrained prototypes. And so just reminding yourself, you get to be creative, you get to flex things so that it works for your family.